Hello and welcome to this episode. Today we will be reviewing the Galen Leather Writer's Medic Bag. It is a gorgeous designed and handcrafted leather bag and they also included this nice little handwritten postcard. I absolutely love little touches like that. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. I love a good reveal. Ugh. The coloring is gorgeous. The structure of it is gorgeous. Um, I'm a little speechless. <laughs> the hardware is antique, which is very nice. It was a little stiff, which is what I expected it being leather. And let's go ahead and open it up. As you can see, it it's very nice. It's spacious. Um, the magnetic closures are pretty strong. I don't know how it would hold up to putting a bunch of things in it just yet. And it has quite a bit of pen loops and also a lot of pockets. So there was a lot of storage in this. I've seen other reviews and other videos, but actually holding this in my hand was pretty nice. The strap that it came with, uh, the only downside about it is that it didn't have any clasps. This is how it was. And I had seen in other reviews that it tends to pop open very easily. But it's okay, because I kind of remedy that a little bit later, and I'll show you that later in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and compare the key ring to the A5 that I have. And I will show you that in just a moment. I like the fact that it has a lot of pockets and storage to put stamps or envelopes or any little trinkets that you have. Now let's go ahead and compare the A5 zip folio to the medic bag. The die is slightly different, which I was expecting. And the key rings, the keychains, are a little bit different on the hardware. One is silver tone, the other one is antiqued. I'm going to go ahead and place my A5 zip folio in the bag. It's considering that my zip folio is stuffed and still fits in the bag, I was pretty pleased with that. I'm going to go ahead and take it out now and we're going to compare it side by side. That way you can see how much room you still have in the bag. All right, let's get into the pros and cons of the bag. Con, I had to reinforce and sew the strap myself and also add a clasp to it. It would just pop open way too easily. So I do recommend getting either another strap or modifying the strap it came with. Pro, I was able to fit so much into this bag, a lot more than what I thought I would be able to. Here is a con, when you open it up, because of the little knob right here, it won't lay completely flat. It'll kind of rock a little back and forth. So I might remove that later, I don't know. Okay, so let's take some of this stuff out so you can see what fit in there. A personal journal, a little supply trinket box, a TN. This one is a little bit shorter because I made it myself, and paper pad. This is an iPad Air 2. I was actually surprised that that fit in there. <laughs> I'm happy it did though. I can have more options. So yeah, you definitely have a lot of options of what you can fit into this bag, for sure. All right, let's get into these pockets. The pockets are really nice. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of storage option, but it is pretty stiff, so that's a con. Uh, I'm sure, I'm hoping, <laughs> that with wear, the pockets will get a little bit more loose, but they are 
pretty stiff. I made these little envelopes and even that pocket was pretty stiff. So what I did is I got my bone folder and do this at your own risk. I kind of slid it in there and just worked it back and forth to kind of loosen it a little bit. And then I was able to put the envelope back in there with less trouble. But yes, those pockets are a little stiff. So it's good and it's also kind of, you gotta work it a little bit. I also was able to fit a nice A5 slim notebook. I use that for just little notes. And here's another thing. You gotta keep in mind that this leather scratches very easily. That happened with just putting my pen in there. I don't mind, personally. I think it adds more character to the bag, but for some people, that can be a con. All right. This, the magnetics hold really nicely, being so stuffed. I was surprised on that, but in a good way. But yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for this bag. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like. If you want to keep following, then um, hit that bell, subscribe. You know what to do. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode. Remember to be kind and have a happy day.